Hey ladies and gentlemen, doing something a little bit new tonight. Now I'm a little bit late to the game because I frankly missed AEW. So I'm doing a live reaction while I'm watching the replay. So join me here. First match out, Hangman Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page. This is their bash at the beach. Um, I believe this is part two of it all. Right now, showing clips of last week's Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega victory. Big fan of Adam Page. He's, he's been showing a lot of stuff. I, I don't think he's quite there yet to be. A, uh, a, a headliner on the marquee, but uh, he has the the potential to be there. Up next, the one and only Kenny Omega. Now, there's been a lot of discussion as of late. They've got all these big names here in. AEW such as Kenny Omega who's made it quite popular around the world besides being in WWE. You've got the Young Bucks who likewise did the same. They made their names in the Indies and out in New Japan. you got John Moxley. You have Cody Rhodes. Now, there was a lot of speculation at the beginning that these guys would, you know, book themselves as champions. Well, they haven't done that yet, but is it kind of detracting a little bit from their status? Everyone in their right mind knows that uh, Kenny Omega is World Heavyweight Championship material as well as Cody Rhodes. Young Bucks definitely tag team championship material. I do like it that they're holding off, but I do believe that they need a mid-card title to establish and help establish some of these unknowns. Up next, they'll be taking on the Tag Team Champions, SCU! Always been a big fan of uh, Frankie Kazarian and the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. Um, just started getting to know Scorpio Sky more after uh, seeing him here on AEW. I, I have watched some of his matches from the past, but not too many. Has great moves in that ring. Has great ring awareness. Could very well be uh, a mid-card singles competitor champion. But right now, establishing the tag division alongside Frankie Kazarian. Gotta love hearing JR on the mic. Love Excalibur and Tony Schiavone as well. I am watching online, so uh, have my screen minimized to a small screen. Sixty-minute time limit is for the tag team titles, indeed. Introductions are currently being made. Champion. 
been for some reason losing feed here. Let me see if I can fix this quickly because this is going to be an excellent match, no doubt about it. There we go, back in action. Even be, even though that there's uh, it seems to be some friction between Kenny Omega and Adam Page, they've been working really well in the tag division. I just uh, I see them really going hardcore if, if perhaps Kenny Omega and and Adam Page lose this match, there's going to be a little bit of backstabbery going on. Referee Paul Turner going to be officiating this match. Announcements play out. I don't want to skip ahead because I like watching every aspect of wrestling. And AEW's been been doing a great job with what they've been doing. You know, definitely giving the fans something new, something different. Um, although they are still needing to work out some some issues. Um, setups to big moves taking far too long. Um, you know, the match has not gone underway yet, and. With the experience of these four, it shouldn't be too much of that. But I still find Kenny Omega does a little bit too much pandering, a little bit too much showboating before he'll actually execute a big maneuver. And it just looks odd because you can see that the opponents have so much time to just step out of the way. You know, they've recovered. They, they're just standing there waiting for it to happen. So I'm hoping that, that those issues get resolved soon. day was a little bit off today because uh, usually I'm up in uh, Hamilton uh, with my wife uh, for her doctor's appointment and we didn't have that today so it just messed my head up I totally forgot it was Wednesday so I'm watching this uh, a lot later than everyone else but it's Adam Page and Frankie Kazarian inside the ring both men move so well in that ring they, their timing is so good Right now, a little bit of chain wrestling going on, trading back and forth. Oh! Beautiful headlock takeover. Frankie Kazarian in control. Gripping on that headlock real tight, not allowing the Irish whip to take place. You know, JR just stated, you know, it's a fairly basic maneuver, but it is such a grounding maneuver as well. That headlock can do so much damage. I, I've applied headlocks on many people. I've I've taken a few headlocks, and you do it just the right way. Your neck is killing you for days. A bit of a cross face now here by Kazarian. Page dropping down, and Frankie Kazarian is outsmarting him here. Oh, forearm shivers sets him up and a return bottle from Frankie Kazarian coming back and Page returning as well. Paying it forward, you might say. Double clothesline, both men staying on their feet. Oh, second time in a row. Ducks under the clothesline, spinning sabot kick and a massive clothesline takes Page down. Uh, I, I enjoy wrestling like this because they are slowing the pace down a bit. They're telling the story. 
when you move too fast in that ring, it, it's you're not selling what's going on enough. You're not you're not selling the bumps as as you should. Nothing looks like it hurts, and, and to me, that is uh, a big issue that some of the wrestlers have here in AEW. And right now, they are doing an exemplary job. The tag went out to Scorpio Sky. Now it's just a little bit of a pushing contest. We got the stare down here. Scorpio Sky, Adam Page going nose to nose, toe to toe. Adam Page didn't seem to really want to make that tag, but Omega insisted. Tag was made, but Page not looking too happy about it. A lot of distrust that they're building up between these guys. Now Scorpio Sky and Adam Page, waist lock, and the switch, and Scorpio Sky now in control, short-lived, ran the arm out, Kenny Omega. Goes under, Scorpio Sky now returning, shoulder block, weakening the arm of Kenny Omega. Trying to push him off, but Omega trapped in the grips of Scorpio Sky. Now both of these men, Kenny Omega as well as Scorpio Sky, they can move quick. But I really enjoy what they're doing here. Like I said, they're slowing things down a bit. They're telling the story, they're selling. Pushing him off into the ropes. Kenny Omega come back. Shoulder block puts down Scorpio Sky. Now we all know Kenny Omega's career in New Japan. Leading the Bullet Club. Amazing career thus far. Scorpio Sky shown his agility. But telegraphed that back body drop. Got kicked right in the chest. And now Omega taking him over. But a float over rolls through. And Scorpio Sky with the Irish whip. Here's a reversal by Mega. Omega. Hits the turnbuckles hard. Evasion by Scorpio Sky. And now Omega. Oh! Kind of like a running leg drop to a standing opponent. Kind of a, a famouser. Now I know the uh, Excalibur loves to use a lot of the, the uh, Japanese um, names that they, they utilize for these maneuvers. I've got the, the volume low, I couldn't hear what he called it, but Page tagged in, takes out Kazarian now after Scorpio Sky. Currently, the two involved legal men are Page and Sky. Gets caught, following, fall away slam coming your way. And a kip up and both of these, all, all four of these men have such agility and flexibility in that ring. It is amazing what they can do. Fall away slam, kick, and up from that. Beautiful to see. Page is a lot tougher than, than he appears. You know, he's not an overly big man. He's not shredded. He's not bulked up. There's the blind tags. Frankie Kazarian tagging in, and there it is. Drop kick and wheel kick. There we go. I, I actually, to be honest, didn't believe that they would have SCU as champions as long as they have. But, uh, you know, they've been doing good good work as champions. They've been, they've been showcased every week in some form or another. You know, you don't necessarily have to be in a match every week when you're uh, a champion. But, you know, appearances. Appearances matter to the fans. They want to see their champions. They want to see those that are are at the top. Into the two boots. And another tag back to Kazarian. really working the number one contenders here is SCU. 
Here's a float over after the suplex. Got a two. Uh-uh. Ain't happening. Reaching out for the tag was Omega, but Kazarian still controlling Page. Drops him on the middle rope. Kicked by Scorpio Sky. German suplex dropped Page right on the back of his head. I don't know if that was a botch, but that looked fucking nasty. Omega in broke up the pinfall. Now Scorpio Sky and him slugging it out in the corner. A bad, bad landing there by by Adam Page. Wow, that looked ugly. Another tag back to Scorpio Sky. A little teamwork kick to the abdomen. Sky now. Ooh, rake in the face. Two boots across the forehead. Omega still reaching out for that tag. Another tag back to Frankie Kazarian. Tag team at its finest. Quick tags. Not allowing yourselves to get overly fatigued. Page now sent in the corner. Scorpio. Oh, back body drop over the top rope, but... Got knocked down as soon as he landed on the apron. And now Paige in trouble once again. Back into the corner, but comes back. Huge lariat. Took Frankie Kazarian pert near out of his boots. Scorpio back on the apron. Kicks out the knee of Omega. Omega reached out for the tag. Adam Page right there. But no partner in sight. Kazarian. Oh, with the backstabber. And once again, hooks him up. Beautiful. Oh, once known as the unprettier. Near fall goes to Kazarian. Dropped on his head twice now. It, it, it's hard to understand when they use tactics like this. Like I'm talking about SCU, and even even uh, I've seen the Young Bucks do it. Um, they'll use like heel tactics, and yet it seems like everyone wants to be a face, and, and it just seems a bit odd to me. There's the tag finally. Page makes the tag. Omega in. Kazarian. Under the apron is Scorpio Sky and Omega go toe to toe. Went for the Polish hammer. Gets caught. Scorpio Sky eats a knife edge. Went for that snap dragon suplex. Rolls through over the top of Scorpio Sky. Hurricane Rana. Ooh, there it is. Fisherman suplex now released it. Floats over. Here's a cover. And another near fall. Loving this match. I have my issues when I see faces pulling out heel tactics. It, it just bothers me a little bit. But, uh... Running in, shooting star, moonsault combination. One, two, near fall. And now, Page up top, goes to the outside. A little bit wobbly on his knees, but still connected. Crossbody takes down Kazarian on the outside. Omega with a buckle bomb. Off the ropes now. Sets him up, pop up, power bomb, sit out. One, two, oh, that was close. Damn. In quick succession. Page having difficulty getting to his feet on the outside. Now Omega coming in. Looking for that knee strike. Buck out caught. German suplex landed on his feet. And there it is, the feet trigger. Looking for the one winged angel. Got it, but no. Scorpio Sky wiggles out from behind. Big boot right to the brain pan. 
Omega up on the middle rope and a Hurricane Rana by Scorpio Sky. Damn. I like it. They bu they're they building this match up. It's like a crescendo. Starting off a little bit on the slower side. Working each other. Feeling each other out. And now quickening the pace. Oh! Once again taken out by Adam Page. It's got to be over. Omega just took a hell of a cutter. And Page manages to make the save. Thought it was over right there. Not going to happen. What does he call that uh, That flipping uh, clothesline? Is that? No, that is not the dead eye. But damn, what a clothesline that is. Caught. Omega once again turned him inside out. Scorpio Sky almost managing to capture the victory there after a devastating cutter. Now Omega taking care of Scorpio Sky. Here's a reversal. Holds onto the ropes. Big boot. Catches Scorpio right on the jaw. And Kazarian hits him with a cutter on the ramp. And now Scorpio has Omega propped up. Sets him up, pop up, Kazarian catches him with a DDT. And another near fall, not enough to keep Omega down. They're showing how important this match is to both sides. Well, I gotta load up the next part and uh, continue this fucking great opening bout between SCU and Kenny Omega, as well as Adam Page. Tag Team Championship titles on the line. Once again, showcasing that devastating DDT from the top rope, assisted by Scorpio Sky. Near fall here once again. I'm watching playback, so when one video's over, the next one just starts off a couple of seconds before the other one ended. So, a little bit in disbelief, RSCU. Kenny Omega not moving so much at the moment. Continuing to work in their tag team. Mastery. Looking for it. SCU. Trying to wiggle free is Kenny Omega turning himself on the back of Scorpio Sky. And now Adam Page pulls out Kazarian. Backslide did not capture it, but V Trigger caught him right in the jaw. Scorpio laid out flat, but Kenny Omega not able to capitalize. Taking a hell of a beating at the hands of SCU. Adam Page finally picking himself back up on the apron. Kazarian likewise back on the apron. Both men making the tag right there. Kazarian coming in a little bit slow. Looks like he's bleeding a little bit. Trading hands back and forth. Now pummeling away is Hangman Adam Page. Off the ropes, but Kazarian with a clothesline. Uh, it must have just been a glare on my television. Disco Larry reverse, but off the ropes. Oh, there it is, finally connected. Page with the cover. We got another near fall. Got my coffee here, folks. Now Kazarian up top. This is, well, was live on TNT earlier tonight. Looks like could be fall away slam. Sent him three quarters across the ring. 
Omega once again reaching over the tag and willingly makes the tag. I don't know. I think he's still a little bit uh, out of it from that uh, that German suplex that found him dropped on his head. I'm talking about Adam Page here. Massive clothesline assisted by Omega. And there it is. Oh! Big forearm. Pop-up German suplex. Beautiful tag teamwork. Missed the big boot did Scorpio. Oh! Dragon suplex. And now, double underhook. No, here's a reversal once again. Trying his Omega and a pile driver. Two. Another near fall. Clearly, main event material here being given to you at the opening of the show. Both teams doing exactly what they should be doing. Working the crowd. Selling each other's moves. Keeping it a little bit on the slower side. Oh! A V-trigger of his own knee strike by Scorpio Sky. Setting him up. And see you later. No! Didn't catch him all the way. Oh! Adam Page throwing Scorpio Sky into Kazarian. Broke the pinfall. It would have been over. Throwing a bit of a tantrum here is Kazarian. And now Page dragging Omega closer to their corner. And there's the tag. Page back in. Trading back and forth now. Hammering down on both Scorpio Sky and Kazarian. Turned his back, however. Here's a reversal. Sends Scorpio over the top rope. Big boot finds Kazarian. Pop up. And a power bomb of his own. Oh, discus clothesline. And now. Here it is. It's over. We got new champions. AEW Tag Team Champions. Omega. And Hangman Adam Page. That was beautiful. I enjoyed it. Was a great match was done the perfect way. This match was built to look important and it indeed showcased every aspect of that. The Young Bucks now in, congratulating the new tag team champions, but Kenny Omega is still a little bit loose on his legs. Adam Page not liking the Young Bucks being there, stealing some of their glory, though. Telling them to get out of the ring. He's not too happy about it. Once again, Adam Page grabbing a beer from the fans, chugging it down, celebrating with the fans, not with the elite. Little body surfing going down. Adam Page celebrating in a big way, but not with his tag partner, nor the Young Bucks. Selling it really well here. His, uh, Distrust and just lost friendship between these four men. and gentlemen right now they're just uh, showcasing the very first pay-per-view of the year it is called Revolution
Now I'm going to do a couple of matches this way. Because it could be uh, two hours is a long way to go just to record this. Next, Priscilla Kelly. Hell's favorite harlot. You gotta love that. And she's in. Damn, kind of like her outfit here. She does definitely fit the harlot persona. D. Dentist by day, grappler by night. Now a lot of things going on with uh, Britt Baker as of late. He witnessed the beatdown of uh, the women's champion as well as... Uh, her opponent last week Chris Statlander um, Britt Baker sitting ringside not the only one not coming in Sheeta coming in to make the save but Britt Baker just simply sat back down allowed to happen what was going to happen There's the bell. Time to get this match underway. Collar and elbow to start the match off. Here we go. The switch working the arm is Britt Baker. We're ringing it out. Taking down Kelly to a knee. Hammer locking the arm now. Priscilla taking down with a headlock. Keeping her grounded. You know, Britt Baker has everything going uh, to be the women's champion of AEW. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't see Riho as a long-term champion. Not without some kind of spokesperson. Someone that can can speak for her. It doesn't, a manager doesn't always necessarily have to be a heel. But someone to uh, to speak for would, would go a long way with the fans. Because right now, there's not really that connection there with Riho and the fans, in my opinion. There's a first cover attempt here by Britt Baker. Fiery redhead, Priscilla Kelly, holding her neck, clutching it. Ducks under the clothesline. Holds on to the top rope, and here we go, off the ropes. Ah, not the best arm drag there. A little bit uh, sloppy by Priscilla Kelly. Sweeps the leg, though, going after the arm. Here we go. Kick right to the side of the head. Definitely like the look of Priscilla Kelly. She looks like one mean bitch. Now what I'll be doing is uh, uploading it uh, this video after this match. Um, because I won't have time right now to watch the entire show. But uh, midnight I go and pick up my son from work and then come back and uh, watch some more and do some more recording. Big forearm shiver there by Kelly taking Baker into the corner. Mm. 
backhand chop. Drop Baker right down to her knees. Back elbow, but not enough to take care of Priscilla Kelly. Has Britt Baker in the ropes, looks like. Rear chin lock, utilizing those ropes a little bit. Priscilla Kelly maintaining her control of this match. Kicking out the hamstrings, weakening the leg of Britt Baker. Now a little mud hole stomping in the corner. Dropping that boot right in the middle of her chest cavity. Knife edge chops, back elbow here. Kelly maintaining her control. Once again, has her tied up in the ropes. Oh, stretching her out is Kelly. Off the ropes now. Drop kick, single leg drop kick right to the small of the back of Britt Baker. Sets her up half and half, looking for the half and half suplex. Hatch suplex, if I am correct. Back elbow by Kelly. And a handful of hair. Baker flooring Priscilla Kelly. Tony Schiavone with a little shop sale there. Massive clothesline now by, excuse me, Britt Baker. Kelly now in the corner. Big knee strike. Off the ropes, Baker coming in. Ducks under. And I've got to go to the next video. So they're replaying some of it again right before the video ended. There's that massive clothesline I spoke of earlier. Priscilla Kelly rebound quickly, gets knocked down again. And there's that knee strike. Duck low did Priscilla Kelly. I don't exactly know why, but off the ropes. Duck Dunner off the ropes again. Baker went for that rebound clothesline did Kelly. A little bit sloppy. A little bit uncoordinated here by both women. Now Baker, like I said, has that look, has that demeanor to be champion, but her matches since the first couple of matches I've seen of her have been a bit sloppy. Here's a reversal by Priscilla Kelly. Big boot right to the side of the head. Pushes Baker into the ropes. Rebound. Scissored leg takedown across the waist, hooks the leg. Good for a near fall, but not good enough for a three. Went for that knee strike once again. Baker, oh, with a super kick. Side Russian leg sweep floats over. Could be Lockjaw. Has the rings of Saturn locked in. Reaching in. Priscilla Kelly trying to get to the ropes here. Pushing herself closer. But Baker pushing up against the ropes. Rolls backwards. The referee admonishing her. Now Lockjaw locked in deep. Has the fingers underneath the tongue. There's a tap out. Rip Baker takes the win once again. Referee wasn't too happy. She utilized those ropes to push Priscilla Kelly and roll through to bring her nearer to the center of the ring. Your winner of the match, Britt Baker, DMD. Now, there was some sloppiness in this match. There, uh, uncoordination. It is not the best match I've seen out of either of these women. Now, you could blame... Either woman, or you can blame them both. I think I blame them both. There's some uh, 
obvious mistakes by both, but now an interview inside with Tony Schiavone and Britt Baker. not happy with Britt Baker. Her mic skills could use a lot of work. commercial break to JR said he's hurt enough I, I mean I, I think it's pretty obvious I guess where that came from I kind of saw something and a little vignette by uh, imagine myself kind of following Luke Perry's son Jungle Boy talking to Carl one day um, and he said he's like is this, is this what you want to do is this like what your dream is and I said oh well, I've yeah. seen this uh, this vignette and before said, um, yeah, I'm going to stop this video now upload it great. And um, continue on until midnight and uh, go from there. So keep sticking with me, folks. Hit that thumbs up, show some love, and uh, we'll be right back. You have to cut its head off and you have to hang it on your wall. It's a fight, I guess, to succeed and to make it what you want. 